I'll call the August Park Board meeting to order. First thing in our packets was the minutes from the last meeting. Were there any changes, corrections, or omissions that anyone caught? If not, the Charlie Entertainment motion to move to approve. approve. A second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. The and we've got no citizens for comments. The first item we have for new business is with the dog park owners. Yeah, so I, uh, I had received a proposal from Ann and the Dog Owners Association, Hudson Dog Owners Association, to um, install some additional shade structures and a uh, storage unit. So, um, including the packet, I told them to attend tonight and maybe just say a brief couple reasons why they're looking at doing it and then answer any questions you might have. We, we certainly can do that. Uh, the, the shade structures, um, certainly by our guests and those who have contacted us, it's a need and uh, a desire that patrons like to have more shade at the park. While the trees are awesome and will provide long-term shade you know, going forward, uh, we, we feel that providing some additional shade, um, one at the small dog park, that small, uh, the small area, and two additional structures at the larger dog park um, are, are what we'd like to uh, provide and, and using the funds that we've raised over the last couple of years at different events um, uh, to fund the materials and, and the actual structures. Um, the, uh, there are, I think in the packet there's a drawing, there are two shade structures currently that uh, the Eagle Scouts had, had put into place and, and erected at the, do at the large dog park area. Um, so those are existing and uh, if that's not clear, I can definitely answer questions about that. But, um, and then the, sh the shed is something that we have talked about as an association for a, a while. Um, just with some of our various materials that we've accumulated now over five years uh, mm -hmm. for some of our fundraising events, um, but also just shovels and, and buckets and different things that we, we, we bring to some of the cleanup events. A lot of that is in our garage. Yeah. <laughs> so um, he'd like to see a shed uh, there. So we have a couple of uh, grant uh, proposals that are out to some of the larger retail uh, stores in the area looking for a donation for that shed. Uh, but if that doesn't come to light, then the association's prepared to use funds to have that shed on site. We haven't talked about the actual size, but, but we did our best to put a, a picture there of what we're thinking that would be ideal. Um, and then also on the map, uh, I think we, we, we have an S for the two uh, ideas that we thought would be ideal. So either one of those would be we think a great spot for the shed, but certainly would, would love your feedback too um, in terms of where you think that would be best fit. So okay. do you want to add anything else? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody have any, any questions? It was pretty self-explanatory in the packet and you guys know what you want, you know, and, and where best it should go so it's not in your way and it functions best for how you use it. So I'd be foolish to challenge where you were going to put something. So for, just a point of clarification, so for the shade structures, um, you had mentioned in your email, I didn't include this in the packet, but they would look for the city staff's help to maybe pour some of the footings that the structure is mounted on. Correct. Um, and then would the Dog Owners Association help build them? Concern? Yes, that, okay. that is our, uh, our plan and our desire to, um, to solicit people that are, you know, again, uh, users on our Facebook page, those that we have, you know, um, essentially on our list for volunteers, yep. and 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 do yes, um, okay. invite volunteers to help. Uh, we haven't done that yet, yes. but okay. but I know that we've had some people volunteer their services in the past for that in that capacity. Okay. Um, but maybe it's a joint, maybe it's a joint project, right? Where um, okay. I'm not sure how the timing would work with the building of the structure, and you know, pouring footings and how that. I guess it depends probably on. Sure. What you feel is best too. So. Okay. It's a, a question we actually just talked about today. Knowing that in the packet we talked about volunteers doing it, but because it's a city park, you may want to be involved in building the structure because of the size of the structure. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if it's even possible for us to really be the ones building it. In the past, we've raised funds in the city's contracted somebody to do the fence or contracted them right. to do some other things. So we're kind of open to both. Um, but. Okay. If, if it is a multi-tiered process where the state's involved in footings, or it's the state, the city's involved in footings, um, it, 
we're just trying to figure out the best option. It, it might actually be in the best interest to have the city be involved in the building of it. Yeah. But again, that's a question for you guys to figure out how that connects in and fits. Or do we contract with a contractor to build it um, so that it's done properly? Yeah, it's just a matter of um, scheduling the staff, um, finding time to, to dedicate to building them, because it's not just a one day thing, right? It's So I mean, it's something that we can work through. Um, and maybe it's one at a time, right? I right. Mean, we, we kind of thought the same thing with volunteers may have to focus on one at a time. Yeah. And then as far as just like the inside, I know the other ones have like wood chips on the inside. Is that something, are you just natural grass or what are your thoughts there? We, we, we would probably, we were not, we were not thinking about, um, you know, a large concrete pad. No, okay. we were thinking um, right on the ground. Exactly. Yep. At, initially it'll be grass, but then yes, eventually wood chips will, will need Work to be yeah, spread okay. there. Yeah. Which is just kind of the use, right? And yeah. the use of using the area. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I just, as far as just like maintaining it, um, we run into issues every once in a while with our staff are trying to mow out there and there's people using it. I mean, I mean it's, it's get used from 5 30 a.m. to 10, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for us to be out there and mow without interfering with people. And some people um, are okay with us mowing out there. And other people are like, why are you here? Come back a different time. Well, it's like, yeah, when do we come back it's used all the time so yeah. just yeah, you, you know navigating some of those challenges and and so we're not having to mow like in and underneath these shelters so on yeah. and so forth so i think that's something that we can talk about too okay Absolutely. i only have one other question and that's the placement of the shed because they aren't really attractive so you know is, is there a particular place where we would recommend they place it so that it's not really an eyesore or is this not an issue I prefer the one near the batting cage as a preference. In that lower corner? And in the yeah. lower spot. The one in the kind of the southwest corner of the park would be right visible from the highway. From the so highway. Like, yeah. right. So right. that'd be my recommendation. And then it's just, as long as we keep it far enough, far enough away from the fencing that we can get our moors behind it so on yeah. and so forth. And mm -hmm. we could do sure. like a gravel pad and have like a two foot overhang so we don't have a bunch of weeds growing up next to it. So That sounds like a great yeah. spot for it. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Would it make sense to table this until we could look and maybe mark out with their approval and then the city's input is there and all, all needs are met? Um, I think we should just go ahead. We know what we're going to do. Yeah. All right. We know what they're going to do. Okay. Is Other there than staff time, time is, do you, with cement footings, do, is that, do we have to find budget money for that? Where does... Yeah, we would have to sell, let's see, two, four, six, eight footings, I, you know, $1,000 mm -hmm. for concrete and staff time, probably. Um, I mean, is I that amount that we're, we're okay with just? Mm -hmm. Take it out of operating. Yeah, I can take it out of okay. operating. Yeah. Okay. okay. If we do one this year, one next year, or however you guys, however your fundraising efforts go, have you started fundraising for it or not yet? Yeah, we, we okay. do have funds for three shade structures. At okay. this point, we don't have funds for the shed, but again, we're, we're hoping that perhaps that will be a donated um, item from one of the, the stores that we're, yeah. Yeah, in, we're trying to work with. But, but yeah, we do have funds for the shade structures. Okay. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve uh, the shade structures and storage shed. <laughs> um, the seashore. With the condition of kind of working with Mike on all our city needs of mowing and plowing and all that stuff. I'll second that. Any further question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Good luck with it, guys. Thanks, Thanks. everyone. We'll be in touch. Yeah, yeah perfect. Okay. Next item we have is, is the bicycle race that Dog Sealander puts on every year in the park. A um, little background, I don't know, all of you know Dog, he was on the city staff yep. forever. Um, his son has been a pro bike racer for years. And the park usually ends up looking better after it's all done than yeah, it, they it do. did before yeah. they started. They do. They, they do, do a really wonderful job. Yeah, so basically we held this, or they held this event out at Granby Park last year. Had no issues with any complaints. Like Pat said, they pick up the park afterwards. They go in the, the woods there. They pick up all the trash. So uh, they're looking to hold it on October 22nd and 23rd. Um, and 
I attached a map. Nothing really changed from last year, so it's the same map as last year. So staff's recommending approval. And, and Doc chairs this thing. Yeah. Yep. Doc and his son. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. really does. Yep. I'll make a motion to approve the 2022 Croy Cross cycle. Um, and then they still have the form and the Correct. liability that, that'll come in with this. Yes. Uh, based counsel. on approval or acceptance of those certificates. I'll second that too. Any further questions? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. And the, the last item we really have is um, our old business, which is the concrete pad up in Prospect. Yeah, yeah, so Don had led me on to a, a concrete contractor um, that I met up there and we walked through the site. I did reach out to a couple others and didn't get any response from them. Um, and so the, the quote that we got from London Concrete and the amount of $27,478, uh, that in the quote, it does kind of differentiate stamping versus non-stamping. Um, and that difference was only $2,200 to stamp it, which I didn't think was out of line at all. No, I mean, that's, I was expecting a lot more. Um, and so what I did was I, I actually gave this to the engineering department to review the quote and they basically compared this to our bid for our sidewalk project that we just opened up a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we only had one bid for that and the price per square foot for four inches of concrete on that project was $8.50. Mm -hmm. And so the Lunning quote that we have in front of us tonight was only for $6 a square foot. So they said, why didn't he bid on our sidewalk project? So, <laughs> um, yeah. They, they, yeah, they said that, you know, there's, this was $3 underneath the engineer's estimate for that project. So, I mean, um, he said, you're not gonna find a better price out there and yeah, to, yeah. they would recommend approval in a heartbeat, so. Hearing that, is there a motion? I'll make, yeah, I'll make a motion and we'll, I have a question. Uh, so no, then we'll get, discuss it once we have more. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, Lunning concrete bid for the Prospect Park um, walk and platform, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody have any other questions regarding it of? There's gotta be a second. Yeah. I'll second it. Yeah. Discussion. Yeah, I can't think of any, I mean, it's a good price. It, something we've, Right. We talked about wanting to do it, and I think it'll make a nice improvement there. Yeah. yeah. So we do we do have thirty thousand dollars in the CIP identified for this project. So mm -hmm. it's it's underneath that amount. Um, and so, do you have a question, Mike? This question. So the, obviously the quotes, you know, the cement. So we did decide we don't need the decorative railings and all that. Right. Um, curious of the the I like the the uh, the concept of the um, compass. the compass rose in there. Is that is that part of this? That guy knows that, and we have some different colors. Are, are we going to kind of steal from that? I mean, if I had a preference, the two photos you sent, I like the kind of earth toned one. I don't That's think we need the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. looked at some of his work, and they were the earth tones, and the brick was very brick looking. Okay, really good. And uh, I noticed on the oval there in that rendering, the brickwork is not around the back side and be sure that gets included okay. and that should be enough for the variance on that. If okay, yep. Additional. Good catch. Okay. Oh, good catch on that. And I did talk when, when uh, Matt was up there, when we were walking the site, I, I drew in the dirt. So he has a picture of, of what we're looking for up there and that's what his quote was based on. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be any additional cost for that work. So we'll make sure he gets the compass correct. Yeah, yeah that would, <laughs> we want to make sure. Yeah. There's, a number of years ago, went over by the Capitol in St. Paul in the park that they laid it out wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Why not you did some work for me and huh? set the compass just right dead cool. north. It's right on the button. Nice. In fact, we have guests that look and they go, yep. <laughs> That's cool. So just a point of clarification, on the photo, you like the one on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the okay. more toned down. The, okay. the other one looks tropical or whatever I mm -hmm. okay all right any further discussion if not all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. motion carried project updates 
So just, I didn't identify them, but I got two of them here for you. Um, so the, the bathhouse is, is open and operating now. Um, it's been up and running for the last couple of weeks. The St. Croix Snack Shack has had their grand opening last night, so they're off and running. Uh, they'll be open for the next month, um, but all signs are saying that they're, they're having early success down there. I see lines down there when I go by it, so that's good. Um, uh, and the other thing too is I had a um, meeting with the boat launch contractor last week Friday. We have a weekly meeting. They are um, they staked yesterday. They're going to set string line um, tomorrow for the curb. They're going to pour curb and gutter, and then the median islands over the next week and a half. And they have tentatively scheduled asphalt for August fifteenth and sixteenth. Wow. Good. So and then after that, it's basically striping signing and some rest restoration signing so on and so forth so it kind of gives you an idea of, of what we're looking at for a timeline for the so it looks launch. like before labor day yeah the docking probably won't be ready um soon mm -hmm. but we have our old system that we can put in there as a temporary you know we'll, we'll put one one stretch out there kind of what mm -hmm. we had before just to get by for this season and then hopefully like i said if one min core is done with the, the docks we'll install them when they come in so Great. Is your plan on that like when are you going to say it's open? Is it is it probably striping? Obviously, yeah. So right. if they I know we have lighting, are those unscheduled? Is that all part of that? That's yep. That'll be part of that. Lighting might be a little. We can close down certain sections a lot to stand lights. I want to get the thing open as soon as possible. You know, right? I'm saying I think a lot of guys can and and gals <laughs> yeah. can launch their boats. They don't even need a dock. They just want I'm, to get in there. So I'm not going to wait for lights to open that. Thing, yep. Okay. Put, put it that way. So yeah, the, if, if they, like I said, if they stay on schedule and pave on the 15th and 16th, I'd probably wait yep. a day to stripe, you know, the 17th. And I'd like to wait maybe another, have it open for that week, another 20th. I don't want to have big trucks turning on that fresh wear course okay. right away. Mm -hmm. You know, give it a couple a of 90 degree day, couple yeah. days to set up and firm up, so on and so mm -hmm. forth, so we don't run into that problem. So, but at least that gives you an idea of, of what we're looking at. In years past, years ago mm -hmm. we used to have a, a row of, of spots for yep. Hudson residents yep can we go back to that no nope. we can't Why nope. they won't let us do any nope. of that anymore no nope. no nope. I can pass it it was a it was a battle back then and yeah. the, the DNR said that's not you can't you can't do that yeah. so I can look back at the old minutes and stuff and give mm -hmm. the reasons why is there a way to you know, on the fee structure in state versus out of state, yep. attach that to parking as well, because then that might help. So we do have the in state versus. So anybody we can only charge with the state parks charge. Correct. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We first can't charge. We can't charge a market, and we can't be favorative to the Hudson people. Right. Yeah, we can't sell a season ticket to anybody. Correct, yeah. or just to Hudson yep. residents. No. Nope. Anybody. Yep. 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 We can't we can't charge out of state people thirty dollars to launch their boat. It's not in the state statutes. Yeah. And we can't charge what Beanie or King charge. We can't charge as much as Beanies across the way or Kings charge. Because they're a commercial. And they yeah, because we're a public we we have to we're limited to what the state charges at theirs. Yeah. But they didn't pay for it. That's the part that bothers me as a rub. The, the, the taxpayers of Hudson are paying for the improvement of the boat launch and everything else. We should be able to reap some benefits of that for the citizenry, I think. But there should be some form, some way to acquire some type of assessment. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember some of my, it's a, because it's a DNR and a federal you know, park, whatever. Mm -hmm. I remember the kid used to look, you know, let's see your license. Okay, you can come in. Yeah. yeah. I think those days are gone. Yeah. I think it's first come, first serve. You can you can change in state, out of state, but. Right. Yeah. So, and that's all I got for project updates. I don't have anything for future agendas. Does anyone? Move to adjourn. All those, oh, is second? Second. <laughs> all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you.